this statement does cast the whole thing in a very, very different light. Um, and, you know, people have, people have rushed to judgment um, in, in this and, and perhaps need to take a step back and, and wait to see what is the outcome of any further investigations in the light of this statement. So the teenager at the centre of the BBC controversy has said nothing inappropriate or unlawful happened with the unnamed male presenter and the allegations were rubbish. Now, a lawyer representing the teenager wrote a letter to the BBC and we can talk now to David Banks, who's a media law expert. Uh, David, welcome. Hello. Hello, John. Hi. So, tell me, what are your thoughts then on hearing and reading this statement? Well, it's it's probably an, another extraordinary turn to a, to a, a events that were already um, unprecedented, really, you know, completely extraordinary. So, um, I, I guess one has to be careful about what this means uh, and and to sort of delve into what the young person means in their statements. Or, or, you have to take it at face value, and one presumes that this person's lawyer having written the letter has written that carefully to to indicate that nothing illegal happened and that any contact between between the two of them was above board and that there was nothing there was nothing to it um but no doubt the bbc will be continuing to investigate in the in the in the light of this it does i suppose throw some questions on because in the statement it says that the son were informed of this on Friday, so that denial was there um, mm. from this uh, young person on Friday, and so perhaps why that wasn't given more weight in the coverage is something that should be addressed as well. Yes, well, there is a statement from the Sun newspaper which I'll, I'll read now. Uh, a spokesman for the Sun says, and I'm quoting. We've reported a story about two very concerned parents who made a complaint to the BBC about the behaviour of a presenter and the welfare of their child. Their complaint was not acted upon by the BBC. It goes on, we have seen evidence that supports their concerns. It's now for the BBC to properly investigate. So the Sun, well, on the face of it, there is the Sun saying they have evidence of the supporting their original story. And we can see, you know, on the face of it, very plainly, the parents and the teenager completely at odds. Mm. But but this this also might explain the slightly um, opaque um, statement that the that the BBC originally gave in relation to this, where they 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 alluded to um, when people aren't cooperating or aren't speaking to us, it's hard for us to investigate. So it's possible that this might explain this might explain what they were getting at in that statement and why. The BBC might say that they have been unable to investigate the allegations as quickly and as thoroughly as the family of the the young person um, wants it, because it may well be that the young person, regarding this as untoward, nothing nothing to be investigated, um, was not being as cooperative with the investigation as um, their parents might have liked them to be. And so, it, you know, we're still dealing with supposition, though. This is just a, a, you know, a kind of theoretical possibility of what might have happened. We, we don't know. We, we haven't had the full details from either the family, from the young person, or indeed from the BBC yet. Yes. So it, it, is, it is guesswork. Um, but that, but this, this statement does cast the whole thing in a very, very different light. Um, and... You know, people have people have rushed to judgment um, in, in this, and, and perhaps need to take a step back and, and wait to see what is the outcome of any further investigations in the light of this statement. Do you see any further investigations, David? Where do you think this leaves the BBC's own inquiries and the policing? The police inquiries—they they say not a criminal investigation, but they are carrying out inquiries. Where does that leave all that? Well, I think. I guess the BBC inquiry has to continue because they've suspended a member of staff, and so there has to be a conclusion, a conclusion to that, um, and so that their inquiry presumably has to continue, and will obviously take into account the, the statement that's been given by the young person involved. Um, the police inquiry. Well, the the key thing 
that the police might be looking into is this idea that um, there were some photographs that were taken of someone under the age of 18. Now, that that's the, the suggestion, although the, the young person's statement would seem to count, count, contradict that now, but that's the thing that the police might still want to ascertain whether they need to investigate that. Uh, now, the young person might be able to clarify that for them very, very quickly and um, suggest that nothing of that nature took place. So it may be, well be that the police investigation concludes pretty much before it's even got started. Again, this is where it's just guesswork we're at here yes. because um, we, can't, we can't know for certain... Um, you know the, the 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 truth of of what everyone is is saying here. There's a lot of contradictory statements being yes. made. Well, a remarkable set of statements. I guess the rest of us can simply watch and wait. David Banks, media law expert. Thank you.